Hello there, Commonwealth from you. The Nintendo Switch has Skyrim, The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt, also called the Switcher, and obviously Zelda Breath of the Wild. But are open world games of the same quality and scale coming out on Nintendo Switch in 2022 and beyond? Yeah, of course it is happening. So after you have liked and subscribed to bring us past 300,000 subscribers, let's go over the 5 most promising open world games coming to the system. Starting with number 5, Sonic Frontiers, coming holiday 2022. Open world and 3D Sonic. It might be a brilliant idea. Emphasis on might. The Sonic franchise is in the middle of its renaissance. Now there's only one deep stab left to mend, 3D Sonic, which still struggles to find its identity, jumping from place to place with mechanics and gimmicks. Luckily, in 2022, we're getting the second Sonic movie in the first half of the year and the seemingly first open world Sonic title in Sonic Frontiers to conclude it. Though so far, we have only seen the logo and grand open landscapes as taken from The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Areas where we might be able to run as much as we want at high speeds, which 3D Sonic games are all about. High octane supersonic speed, and if the open world is big enough, then it might be just what the franchise needed to find its three-dimensional identity. So far, we haven't seen too much outside of empty landscapes and Sonic turning towards its brave new world for him and us players, and well, facing one of probably a lengthy list of threats in what could be a new era for the Sonic franchise. An era filled with quality 3D open world Sonic titles with expansive worlds, and as long as they have rings, enemies, item boxes, classic loops, and pitfalls combined with high speed, then it doesn't matter if it will otherwise be empty. So who needs exploration when you can have speed in a Sonic title? Number 4. No Man's Sky, mid-2022, so most likely summer. Ah, Hello Games No Man's Sky, the game filled with pre-release lies and a disastrous launch on a scale that has only been matched and surpassed by Cyberpunk 2077. Then why is this open world, scratch that, open universe game on this list? Simple, as this isn't the shallow, missing features mess of a game that was released in 2016, but the mended and ever-evolving product that has been collecting awards for turning a no man's sky. The open universe is no longer a scam, but a fever dream that has more than enough content to justify a proper playthrough from planet to planet and across the empty, though at this point filled with more content and quest space. With that being said, even with all of the impressive additions and free DLC over the years, all which are included in the Switch version of the game, this title is not for everyone. And that is to say mildly, as this title is pretty much the polar opposite of what Sonic Frontiers will be upon its release. It is a title where you take your time, move around, and explore the universe at your pace, and collect materials, resources, to build bases while exploring procedurally generated planets, galaxies, suns, and so on. A game that can be both overwhelming and underwhelming at the same time depending on your point of view and gameplay expectations. Since No Man's Sky is all about the massive journey to an end goal, not the end goal itself. And if you're willing to accept that and the limitations of procedural planets between the handcrafted quests and missions, then you will fall in love with this title. That is, if it runs as well as it was advertised in the first Nintendo Direct of 2022. Speaking of another title that might have certain technical issues in its open world, number 3, Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, late 2022. The ninth generation of Pokemon is not getting delayed to 2023, and though some may feel that this will result in a rushed product to launch new merch, there is something special about this new title. For one, it feels like the final fourth evolution stage that Game Freak has worked towards. A path that started with the open but empty wild area of Pokemon Sword and Shield, then expanded to completely open two maps in its two DLC packs, the Isle of Armor and the Crown Tundra, and reached its culmination with the fully explorable open zone maps found in Pokemon Legends Arceus. Zones, or if you prefer areas of the Hisui region, that we were able to walk, run, jump, ride on land and water, fly, flash a glide, and even climb through thanks to Pokemon. Even so, it is up to Generation 9's Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet to deliver a proper open world mainline Pokemon title with gyms and league where we have one gigantic map to seek out Pokemon, visit multiple different towns that are part of the same loading area for the first time in 3D Pokemon, and run around with full dual analog camera controls. And it all takes place in one of the most diverse places in the world, the Iberian Peninsula. This game for its own regional variants and brand new Pokemon might combine the introduction of the open world with the 1000 Pokemon, which is an exciting milestone in itself. The art style feels like a blend of Sword and Shield and new Pokemon Snap, and it's pretty much exactly what we wanted in an open world environment. 
yes, this game doesn't look as good as the top entries on this list. But for Pokemon, gameplay is key. Specifically, how much of the action and traversal abilities of Pokemon Legends Arceus will be carried over to this new region. But most of all though, our biggest hope for this game is the region itself, with Spain and Portugal based on these two maps and possibly so much more. Ranging from the national animal of Spain, the bull, the Gibraltar monkey, <laughs> and so on. But now, let's get into an honorable mention before we move inside the two most certain quality upcoming open world experiences. Genshin Impact. The ever expanding Breath of the Wild like experience, well, when it comes to gameplay, since we have no idea if this free to play open world gacha title at this point is coming out or not to the Nintendo Switch. That is to say, after releasing in all other systems except Xbox in 2020. The PlayStation 5 version is out this April, so hopefully the Nintendo Switch version is next. We have talked about this game and why it is a perfect game for Nintendo Switch since 2020, as the developer Mihoyo has teased it. And come on, this game is running on pre-2020 smartphones and even Valve's Steam Deck, so step it up. Number 2. Xenoblade Chronicles 3 September 2022 Monolith Soft the masters and mentors of all of Nintendo's own open world or open zone titles cannot go wrong. And this can be said ever since they began launching their ridiculously ambitious JRPG titles on ridiculously underpowered hardware, aka Xenoblade on the Wii and Xenoblade X on the Wii U. The titans owned by Nintendo have been the go-to studio to expand the worlds of Nintendo's other franchises. You know, Zelda, Animal Crossing and even helping out the Pokemon company and especially Game Freak a little when it comes to Pokemon Legends Arceus. With that being said, it is time for Monolithsoft to deliver another masterpiece of their own with Xenoblade Chronicles 3. It may not be the medieval open world new IP that we were teased with a couple years back through concept arts, but instead it is a blend of everything that we know and love from the Xenoblade games on the Wii, Wii U and Switch. Most likely, the story of Xenoblade Chronicles, the characters of Xenoblade Chronicles and Xenoblade Chronicles 2, and last but definitely not least, the open world and modern scale of Xenoblade Chronicles X. All combined together into what appears to be the most rounded and complete Xenoblade title to date. A culmination with returning settings and most likely also characters. With remains of the Titans of Bionis and Mechonix, and also references to the Titans of Ulrist. All to deliver a no doubt masterfully written story with high tech weaponry and a touching narrative where we often will play the flute to pay tribute to fallen friends and soldiers. A story and conflict between two sides with a new cast of playable characters, weapons and so much more. A game that will have excellent music, but just like Elden Ring, is not for everyone, mainly due to a very lengthy and grindy questline that will stretch to 100 plus hours and gameplay that may not be for everyone. The last one we don't know about for sure, since so far we have only seen running gameplay. But if the combat is even better than in Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition and Xenoblade Chronicles 2, then this title might have a far greater appeal than any Xenoblade title to date. And most impressive, the title is coming out before all of the other titles on this list, minus possibly No Man's Sky. Mark of September and there's only one title that is above it on our list. Number 1. The sequel to The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild 2022 is the year of open world experiences on the Nintendo Switch. Yes, 2017 had both Zelda Breath of the Wild and The Elder Scrolls V Skyrim, but as we have demonstrated throughout this video, 2022 will be the new king of open worlds. With that being said, it will be even more dominant if the Zelda team keeps and then hits their aiming for a 2022 release and delivers the 20th Zelda game, the sequel to The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild as promised. The follow up to the masterpiece open world title that still only Red Dead Redemption 2 and Elden Ring have been able to rival to date. And with the sequel reinventing the reused open world and adding two new layers to it, that being the underground and sky, you know that we're in for something truly breathtaking. A free layered gameplay experience with near seamless transitioning between these as hinted in the second teaser and published patents. Massive new areas to explore and conquer with hopefully proper dungeons and far more enemy and boss variety. All combined with the game changing open world gameplay that Breath of the Wild brought to the table in March 2017. And nearly 6 years after, or perhaps even 6 years after if the game ends up pushed to 2023, the sequel is ready to elevate the game once again. As this title seems to evolve everything we loved about Breath of the Wild and take it to the next level with a far rougher and wide link, sporting a new tunic and arm with time bending abilities. Providing a theme of spirits, lost shorthead princess Zelda, lost master sword and the threat of the resurrected main villain of the Zelda series Ganondorf. 
the final resurrection outside of Link's second resurrection with the glowing hand of the Zelda's Awakening and Link's resurrection in Breath of the Wild. This game, with an elevated Hyrule Castle as its center, is after the release of Elden Ring only rivaled by the hype that will build up towards the release of Bethesda's Elder Scrolls VI, which we only have a short glimpse of at this point. Another open world title, that much like the Elder Scrolls V, could in the future arrive on a future Nintendo system, though it depends on Microsoft, who now owns Bethesda. So be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the Commonwealth Realm if you haven't already, and press the notification bell and again for all notifications to not miss any upcoming Nintendo and open world games videos like this one. Last but definitely not least, big thanks to you for watching until the end, and to all of our patreon.com slash around patrons, and in particular our role producer Charles Shash. You rock, and please enjoy one or both of these two awesome videos.